Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a five-year review of the Track Rack SR Rack System paired with the Retrax MX1 cover. Before we get started, I'm posting weekly videos, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Okay, so first thing, let's jump into a general overview of the system. What we've got here is a Track Rack SR system, which is these overhead ladder racks, and SR stands for sliding rail system, which provides these double T-slot rails here on the outside so that you can slide these two rack uprights either independently on separate racks to allow them to nest together for an open cargo space or adjust your load for carrying capacity depending on the length of it. Also, you can use these paired tie downs that are allowed to shift and slide wherever you need them. Really nice, super flexible. So overall, this system is rated to carry 1,250 pounds of dynamic load. It's quite a bit. Making sure that it is centered and properly secure. So along with this, this dual rail system also has other capabilities such as a toolbox slide here that I've modified with some square load bars and a carrying basket to capture some additional space for more storage. The reason I did this is the Retrax MX1 cover when it does retract into the canister, you lose about 13 inches of space at the end of your bed. Granted, you do still have some of that full length below it, but you lose quite a bit of space. So I've used this basket system to recapture that. This is the Retrax MX-1 cover. It's lockable, very secure, uh, and very easy to open. How you open it here is you just push the button here on the latch. There's also the lock here. And slide it to the rear. There are upgraded systems of this where you can electronically open and close it just by the flip of a button. Uh, it does cost a little bit more and requires a little bit of wiring to do so. Uh, but as you can see here, this canister, this is the canister that the cover rolls up into, similar to a coiling overhead door. You see it's taking quite a bit of hits and dings here. It is a lightweight aluminum, but it's still very strong and durable. Uh, so it won't rust on you and it's, it's really light. So overall, I've really enjoyed this paired system of the rack and cover. Its adaptability, flexibility, and ease of use is incredible. To be able to adapt it to whatever your use and need is, uh, whether it be a daily driver, you wanna be able to slide the racks on and off so that you can drive into parking garages, or a weekend warrior, you're using the racks to haul loads, you know, uh, weekend projects, kayaks, canoes, ladders, we've hauled it all, you name it, with no issues. So we're gonna get into some of the pros and cons with this system. So we'll start off with the pros. The double T slots on these rails in the top and bottom is incredible, allowing so much flexibility and customization in the system. It's really hard to beat. Also, this lightweight aluminum construction and pretty high load carrying capacity is really great for its size and lightweight. Also, the ability to really secure and leave your valuables safely behind and out of sight is really hard to beat, especially with most Tanu covers being a soft cover that could be cut or pried open with a pry bar. Um, this, I know when it's locked that our valuables are secure. So let's cover the, some of the cons on this system. First off, these rubber wear strips that you can buy separately from the system are just simply not big enough they really don't do a good enough job on protecting the rails. I think initially they were designed really just to keep ladders from sliding on the rack. But honestly, if I'm gonna spend the extra money on it, it needs to cover the whole rail and protect it. Because as you can see, this aluminum is soft. So if you do have rivets like on a canoe or let's say nails on some wood that you're going to go toss to burn or whatever, it's gonna cut the rail and damage it. So over time, this does get sharp you wanna make sure you don't grab onto it and jump off the truck because you can cut your hands pretty easily on it. So that is a number one con of these rubber wear strips. So another con on this system is if you do have the racks on the truck, you're not able to drive through a standard car wash anymore and wash your vehicle. So that means you gotta to go to a self wash anytime you need to wash it. It is a little bit of a pain. Uh, the advantage is you can slide them off to go to the car wash, but as you can see now that we've got many things mounted on here, we're not taking this on and off anymore. So it really eliminates us being able to go through a drive through car wash. So this leads us into the cons on the cover. First of all, as I stated before, 
the cover does leak water, uh, so it's not water resistant. And as a result of that, over time and the constant moisture in the cover is it's caused some of my tools to rust. So there's always, we're always battling moisture, it seems like. Um, it's best to park with the back end downhill so that most of the water sheds off the back of the truck. And if it does get in the cover, it's able to leak out the back drain holes in the corners of the bed. Another thing is the cover itself, uh, we do have a crack on it. So here's the crack that we received here. Um, I think it has grown just a little bit, but overall it doesn't let any water in. So it's just a fracture within the cover. It still seems to be working fine, but that's just one of the things that I've noticed. You gotta be careful if you've got taller boxes or something that can open up underneath here. Um, because what had happened is I put an open box in here and when I went to open the cover again, it got caught and pushed the cover up and caused this to fracture and break. Uh, so one thing to be careful of. Another note on the underside of these is the way that this rolls together and teeths together, you gotta be really careful on the underside of the cover if you're reaching in the bed up high because you can cut yourself on the underside of this. So one thing you gotta be really careful of, especially with kids, it's really easy to reach in, grab something high, brush your hand across it, and next thing you know, you've sliced yourself pretty good. The last con we have is related directly to the rails themselves, and it is that you have to check the torque on them every once in a while because they can become loose. Whether it be rough corrugated roads or just in general because of the rubber bushing itself, become soft underneath hot weather. It's good to check them every couple thousand miles, probably your first year or two. Uh, after that, you should be good to go. Um, just check it maybe every 15,000 miles because if these rubber bushings become loose, your rack is no longer secure. And that would be really bad if you've got a secure load and it comes flying off down the highway. One of the results of it becoming loose is the rails can become out of square, which is a problem if you don't have the racks on all the time. One way to keep them square is to maintain your racks on the rail. We leave our basket on all the time so that it does maintain a very square and secure rack. So now that we've covered the pros and cons, let's talk about the system flexibility and possibilities. First of all, this T double T slot rail allows many mounting options, not only the upright racks, but with the toolbox slides, we're able to create our own sliding basket system to capture some of that storage that's lost from the retractable tonneau cover. So we're able to put our storage boxes up here, some jerry cans. The advantage is you can slide this to the rear of the bed to be able to load it more easily, or we also use this as our bike rack. With the double T slots up top, we're able to mount a fork mount bike rack and we can slide this wherever the rear tire needs to be and take our bikes with us on any side trips that we want to do. This also leads us to the possibilities, the endless possibilities of the uprights. So because there is this T-slot on the top and bottom, you're able to mount a lot of different things on here. So up here we have our Rhino Rack Batwing 270 degree awning. That's great for some shade or to get out of the rain. If we're working off the tailgate or if we're at a campsite and just need some shelter, this is really nice to have with us. You'll also notice that we've got a substructure here that I've created with 8020 aluminum extrusion. And with this, I'm able to hold our 100 watt solar panel on top, as well as our recovery boards underneath. On this far side here, we've got our custom fishing rod holder. So we're able to secure our fishing rods so that they're safe and won't be broken. You can lock this up. You can really mount this just about anywhere. We just liked having it towards the outside so that we still have ample room to put our canoe in between. The great thing with this rack system and all these different T-slot mounting options is the possibilities are endless to customize this to whatever your needs are. And if they change, it's easily adaptable. I've even seen someone using storage boxes suspended below the rack by using angled steel and they could slide them in and hang them below the rack system so that they're still able to get access to the tonneau cover here and take advantage of some of this lost space below the rack system. Overall, I highly recommend this setup for its flexibility and endless options of customization. If you wanna purchase this for yourself, I've included product links in the description below. Feel free to click on those. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please smash down the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoy this content and want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.